So, what can a 5D mystic, empowered woman right here, in the woo-woo, pseudoscience, podcast, toast, lady, you name it, tell you about being yourself? Well, for one, it's being your authentic self, which would be the inner child adult of you. So, no shame. So, I'm an expert in that. I'm an expert in how do you get to be yourself with no shame. And I got to keep on learning how to support those who want to be their self by getting attachment and trauma informed. So I don't make up shit from my butt, but again, pseudoscience lady, because I bring human, spiritual, and spirituality elements together, and all the podcasts are voices, perspectives, stories, that we get to know me, my stories, and how easy it is to do emotional self-regulation, accountability, and awareness, and mental awareness, and accountability, and it's mindset. So mindset is everything, because your body may keep the score, but your mind keeps the count, and these are not mine. The score thing is bezel, and the mind is Lisa. And they have last names, but I'm going to leave it out. You can ask me. I'll let you know the books. I need to write it down. But here's what happens when you assimilate information that supports you to support others to understand the dynamic of being a person. You have a brain. And Daniel Siegel taught me about we also have a mind and our relationships impact the brain structure. Now, there are people in his own field that he had to, no, he still does. They, They don't believe in his stuff. They don't believe in bezel. Basically, they want us to stay in our survival, fight, flight, right, freeze, flop, drop, reptilian nervous system. And then we have 4D who's making up stories about reptiles actually coming from the sky. So that's why my mystic stuff is really important. I knew there was a reason for all of it. And that's because I come with Jesus, meaning I was raised with Jesus and God. And the minute I got Claire's, I was like, okay, I know a group of the people from my background are not going to like me anymore. And they're going to make up stories about me like they do about people in demonic possession because they don't know about neuroscientist Patrick McNamara who proves there's no demon that possesses you and they obviously don't know about Daniel Siegel and anybody that tells you about how the brain structure works and how a zero one-year-old will be frightened to death in a home where there's emotional neglect or abuse and any screaming is going to frighten a child so I know a lot of people oh that's too much well you know what I find hard to believe that people want me to call them smart and not flat earthers and i'm gonna say i'd rather probably hang out with the flat earthers than some of those people who want to keep on talking about demons possessing a human being who just needs a good therapist so there's that i love people i'm a human i have to say that because uh there's a lot of misanthropists out there that they don't like they mistrust they even hate humans so there's that and none of them go to good therapy to figure out oh wow wait a minute it began in my own home which is a womb so we don't have to use any stories from the sky yet and that's how an authentic self will say hey jesus give me high five forgiveness what else was it believe yes believe without seeing i do Uh, thank you god i told you about no evil but human suffering and you know i wasn't trying to get to where i am today but i did know you can be you because look right here okay so let's be playful that's the krishna leela spirit essence and it's basically your Mammalian heritage, you got it, I got it. It's called being an empowered woman who knows I'm not. Am I afraid? Nope, I'm not afraid of inadequacy. I have a twin. Did I mention how lucky I am? So I got to be a mammal from the beginning of my womb history, and then I got to be born and in a child-centric environment, and my mother let me be a child. And this is why I get to be playful with my relationships and grace and generosity. So here's where polyamory community, come on over if you want to embody it with secure attachment. Because some people think that we overestimate the capacity for a person to use their intellectual and emotional capacity of their brain, which I agree a little bit. We're going to get to that in a minute because the ones who don't want to be their self, they don't know they have a shame button hidden beneath the surface. When you try and explain it to them, the ones who hear you and then they do research and then they're like, you know what, okay, and they basically find out that what you're saying you're not making it up from your butt again uh, they will say okay I want my mammalian heritage why not it feels really good to move out of what is the reptilian nervous system fight flight freeze flop drop and burn out and getting tired and feeling like you're not it's in here because you're navigating as your one-year-old that has not learned to be soothed So your nervous system, though, learns how to self-regulate based on your home. Again, I have a twin and a mom, so I know all about my mammalian heritage. I'm also going to say I think I have these uh, things called alleles in a certain way, so I can feel it's that my nervous system can take 
more emotion. That's all I'm going to say. It's a study that Daniel was reviewing with someone, not someone, in my disorganized attachment and dissociative identity disorder course with the lady who's healed, and she's a therapist, and she's going to write a book. She's already writing it so that others with the ID can know you're not broken, but you're healable. And then there's Dr. Daniel Fox, who lets everybody know that personality disorders are not scary monsters. They're all, again, healable. And please stop stigmatizing borderline, stigmatizing narcissists, stigmatizing sociopaths and psychopaths. Yes, we got some who took their pathology. Like, here's who we are. Be careful of us. We're dangerous. So they decided to be superheroes in their own superhero, supervillain journey. And then they're still not getting home. Elsa's journey is show yourself. I'm dying to meet you. They don't go and meet their ego self. They're three-year-old and one-year-old. But here's the deal. Come on in. Patrick Tiahan, childhood trauma survivor, healed in healing. As he shares with his audience, one, remember who you're talking to because we've got a lot of cowardice people out there. They're emotionally lazy. And they will say, you know what? Since my therapist said I'm doing a good job, I'm not going to keep doing any of it. I, I don't want to journal and do mindfulness or meditation. Why should I? Everybody's fucked up. And there's your teenager attitude. It's an adolescent. And guess what? Adolescents, thank you again, Daniel Siegel, 12 to 24 brain, which makes sense. Because physiologically speaking, your human being brain, and I need to underline this because it's very important to remind people that you're human first and then everything else is imagination, okay? And I'm okay with belief systems. I know that I believe in sciences and I also believe in, I'm a mystic, so beyond the uh, what you can see. In fact, here's the deal though. I didn't learn about Jesus or God in a way of being fear-mongered. Because I was a child already who has a mother who raised me to say, it's okay, don't be afraid. So I'm grounded in my humanity, which is why divinity overflows. Yes, I don't use that word in the way others do, but I do like the Sadhguru quote. That way you can understand if your spirituality, it's about living a life of meaning beyond the solo self. He doesn't know the psych education, I do. I'm a human translator, and anyone who does self-help and personal development, come on over. <laughs> So this is what it's like to be able to be an authentic self and love to be human, by the way. And yes, there are people that will frustrate us, but we remember something. I'm a fragment of you and you're a fragment of me. That's where it could have been in the way I was as a teenager. God taught me to be humble. I learned. God, I learned. I learned. I remember one of my lessons. And said, so, okay, I don't know everything. As I got organically into my lovely, flexible brain, and now I have to use the word Akash because, again, I want to respect people of different groups that don't like us. They don't like the polyamory. They don't like the mystics. I'm an Akashic record reader. They don't like tarot readers. Apparently, we're demons from the sky. What else was there? Oh, yes, Reiki, a Reiki master. I cannot even begin to say how I was not surprised when I saw a theologian grab a piece of paper and start building a qualitative data. And see, when you go to school, it's very helpful. And people who think that, College is a waste of time. Yeah, sure it is. Keep on thriving in the blissful ignorance of not bliss. But I'm going to leave that one to the side too because, you know, the master's, bachelor's, it's not that. That's not what makes you a mind that actually is going to expand. What makes your mind expand is that you say, shut up, left mode. We don't need thoughts right now. Okay, we don't like shit. It's okay. I'm going to keep reading all sides of a story. doesn't matter what I like or don't like. I'm educating myself. Because knowledge is empowering. Anybody who's smart will know that. And they won't be arguing about it and uh, finding it hard to believe when they are human. And like, yeah, I like to learn about being a human. So again, I don't want to suffer in this. Why would I want to suffer when I have an embodied brain like anybody else? So why would I use a story, right? Okay, so we don't use stories. Again, I learned how not to. And in fact, I didn't need patchmer trauma. Say, human suffering all over the place. And then I got to learn about Bezel van der Kolk. The body keeps the score. He answered the very big question I had. Why is it so hard for people to be their self? I don't understand, Bezel. And he gave it away. When you want to be seen, which is always because you're mammal, because you're not a solo self. So as I was saying, you learn to self-regulate based on your environment. If you have dysregulation, which is everyone's fucked up, there's something in here. I don't have that thing. It's called shame. I don't have it. Can you see? And I don't use the societal shame either because... Really, society is a construct. I read a book about it, and it's a master's for sociology people. And I was like, wow, okay, this is fucked up. So you're telling me, as I'm reading this book, I was like, oh, this is hilarious. Wow, wait till people find out about this. And then people are like, well, no. 
So again, minds that want to stay on the surface, they don't explore more because you just told them something that brings them to uncertainty, and that's called awareness. <laughs> and because in that moment, shit come up, and that's the minute that their plateaus, thank you, Daniel Siegel, he's given me so many words, I learn a lot from him. Consciousness and change, the disorganized uh, attachment and DID, I have interpersonal neurobiology, and I need to also do these last two, I still am doing... Um, lifespan attachment and he's amazing so i'm learning again because their interpersonal is really in depth so it's beautiful but it has material and the brain and how it works and all that so yeah your brain structure does change if you work with your mind now i do know of some educators who are actually telling people not to do that apparently they don't care about your inner well-being and they obviously don't know about again patrick mcnamara who explains what happens when the self you inside is expanding and why people will flip 360 you know when you hear about yoga bringing demons yeah i saw that interview that person flipped because they didn't do the expansion no no they're like oh my gosh i did something wrong i was told that this is not the good stuff the yoga by my people they told me they warned me like with tara they warned me that i shouldn't do it and that's where fear comes in and then this plane of imagination comes in and because there's so many stories about demons and you know all that stuff and believe me i navigate the planes it's very fascinating to say the least when you do end up there astral travel kashic record readings oh yeah the density amazing it's energy people this is the thing when you're grounded in your humanity there's no fear receptor going wonky it's called i can be in a flow state selflessness, timelessness, effortlessness. That's where those panic attacks came in. Besides the part about freeze, we all have charge states, by the way. You do, I do. I'm not exempt. I'm just a person who can feel without being overwhelmed effortlessly to richness. And there you go. Why? Well, here's the thing. When I got Claire's I already knew about Jesus and God, and no, I'm not anointed, nor is anybody else, and that's very egoic. So Elsa Journey people were made very clear to me. I just knew that I wasn't in any way, shape, or form from the past era of whenever this anointed thing began, because it felt egoic to just use that word, and I'm like, yeah, no, I am pretty sure it's 2020, whatever year it was. What year was it? It was 2007, 2007-ish. <laughs> long time. Yes, long time. And then I didn't think 4D would stick around. And I didn't want to believe what I read about the 5D timeline. And I'm going to leave that one out of there because we're going to have another episode. I want to conclude with a little short on the beauty of being the authentic self. So for one, we do mentorship. I do one-on-one. -on -one, and we're going to have eventually group masterclass. If you want, ask Maria. That's paid subscription for now only <clears throat> on the podcast platforms that are with Spotify. And uh, when we get to 1K, it'll be also offered as a membership opportunity. And that's for people who want to have fun in life by using your mammalian heritage, which is easily done if you put in your best foot forward, both of them, not just one. And if we need extra help, we get the extra help. This is not a negotiation. It's, I talk to my therapist that teach me everything. They said, my nervous system will tell me. And so my nervous system would say, hey, okay, we're doing great, but we're going to get somebody else to support us. And however you want to work it out, but I know it for a fact. And you said you wanted to work with me and I don't take your mental health or physical health or emotional health not seriously. That's how it works when you're a grown up who's not playing around and not trying to get likes. I mean, obviously, please like, share, and subscribe because that'll get the channel to grow. But what I do... I do with confidence thanks to the education that I got and paid for and because I care about what I do. And when people say, why would I want to be myself? I had a long time to contemplate it until I got attachment trauma informed. And now some could say, well, you're twisting and turning it. And I'm going to say, yeah, I know a lot of people from the past who want to stay with Freudian and I am not somebody from the past. I live in what today, the 2024 year. <laughs> okay, so I'm a mystic. That's why I'm woo woo, but I know what day it is. So let's uh, conclude being playful with grace and generosity with yourself, because otherwise you cannot love yourself first. And I love how fancy people, <laughs> here's how to truly love yourself first. Loving yourself first is, is not a little <laughs> word that you use. It's going to come here. If you can look at yourself, your zero, one-year-old, two-year-old, three-year-old for all of your years, go all the way back. And then here, I want you here. And wherever there's still doubt, wherever there's still fear, wherever there's crying, wherever there's anything, you have stuff that wants to come up. 
<laughs> we're just going to leave it like that. When you can keep on saying, I unconsciously love me with flaws and imperfections, I respect others, so you're not going to go projecting your political agenda, religious, you're not going to silence others. When you can go around not throwing shit in a human being's face because they're different from you, when you can be in the human group here and say, here's who I am, and you can consistently do it vulnerably, not with revenge, not with envy, not with spite, not with low self-esteem emotions. This is not about a competition. This is me explaining. When here it's open, people know when it's open or closed. As long as this is not open and fuzzy, yuzzy, yuzzy, you're not knowing how to be yourself yet. Is your zero, one-year-old and three-year-old are child-like energy, and they stay here, your child parts. Now, you don't have to believe me. Again, I, I'm not a person about belief. I'm food for thought lady, and for those who want to do personal development, seriously, and self-help. And for good therapy, we have a bunch of experts that I can turn to and that I'm learning, again, consistently from. So let's be playful, and <clears throat> that's why compassion and kind intention. So the awareness brings up everything that you've experienced up till however old you are, and that charges, those charges are very delicate. You don't want to overwhelm your nervous system, which is what some people will want to do when they find out you're an Akashic Record reader, a Reiki master, and a tarot card reader. Yes, and that's when, when you carry. So, okay, look, before we do anything, we're going to sit down and chit-chat because you just told me about you having a psychotic break, becoming a danger to you and others, and I'm going to take this seriously. And then they don't call you anymore. But they'll go to, uh, you know, places that ask them for billions of bucks <laughs> and then watch them flip a 360 and say, yoga brings demons out of you. And all those people that do the new spirituality stuff, they're all wackos. Sure we are. <laughs> no, we're not. It's just you made a flip and I noticed you didn't expand one little bit. You went from one side to the next side, which means you didn't learn, Jacob, huh? You didn't learn how to get to your prefrontal cortex. That fear receptor, it's still there. That's how easy it is to remember the things that have you say, ah, thank you, Bezel. Thank you, all the therapists. I understand you got a herd. Lost boy, lost girl, or Peter Pan, or Wendy, don't matter. You got a herd because that right here, just flip, again, a switch instead of expanding with wisdom and knowledge because, again, imagination, storyland. I'm a human. I'm not creating a story. I'm saying anytime we get information in and we can, so I'm going to stop. That way we can finish. And I can move to our next episode. Everyone you meet is a part of the opportunity for you to express yourself in the fate you write every day when you open your eyes and start anew. Let me show you why. Because I get inspired by my lovely stars. Okay? And we have your expression, the sacred expression of yourself, that lovely sacral, if I remember correctly. And here's, you can trust that nothing is a detour. One second. As I was saying, detours are not really detours. They are opportunities. So this one for growing perseverance and wisdom in being that which you choose to be. And you choose to express and share. I'm trying to read while looking at you. <laughs> share with loved ones in relationships with strangers. And in this world, you make it meaningful. You make it meaningful and you make it count. And it's all about the fate that you wish to tell about your life story. You use your name, <laughs> use your human name, because people don't use their name. They begin to say, here's where I come from. And it's like, yes, we all can come from somewhere. I come from the future, in fact. <laughs> but I know that I also come from the past. See, this is Mystic Lady right here. Okay, so uh, at the end of the day, use your human name and uh, use your name and you sky write what you wish to see, feel, experience, and bring to this day. Because every day, when you get to open those eyes, again, you get to choose if you're going to have that compassionate streak. And that's why your inner child, adult, is most important. To be the authentic self is not about the external. It's first of all, first of all about the relationship with you. And... The reason kind intention works and words that are in grace, generosity, playfulness is because your body and your brain protect you. That's what people who go on else's journey don't understand. You're a human. Your body and your brain protect you. They want to ensure your safety. So if you can get to the essence of your inner child and become the adult, you get to do a lot of things. We'll talk more about it. Again, like, share, subscribe, and join us, and have a great one.